Have you ever wondered why, during the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake, a massive 9.0 magnitude quake, Tokyo's skyscrapers stood tall instead of crumbling to the ground? How did hidden machines and engineering marvels save them when entire regions were shaking apart? What if I told you that humanity has built machines so powerful they can hold back the ocean, tame earthquakes, and even fight volcanoes? From China's Three Gorges Dam, so massive it shifts the Earth's weight, to Italy's rising sea gates that protect Venice, and America's spillways that shield New Orleans, these machines are humanity's last line of defense against nature's most destructive forces. Every year, millions of lives are put at risk by natural disasters that strike without warning and leave entire nations devastated. Earthquakes have brought cities to their knees, like in Haiti in 2010, when a magnitude 7.0 quake killed over 200,000 people because there were no protective technologies or earthquake-resistant buildings in place. Floods, too, have drowned entire regions, as seen in Bangladesh's 1998 flood, which covered two-thirds of the country and displaced over 30 million people when there were no large-scale flood barriers or warning systems to shield them. Tsunamis have delivered unimaginable destruction, such as the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami, where massive waves struck without early warning and took the lives of more than 230,000 people across 14 countries. And volcanic eruptions have wiped out towns in moments, like the 1985 Nevado del Ruiz eruption in Colombia, where melting ice triggered deadly mud flows that buried 23,000 people before scientists had advanced monitoring systems. These tragedies remind us how vulnerable humanity once was, but they also pushed us to innovate. Today, engineers and scientists have designed incredible machines and systems to defend against these forces of nature. From earthquake-proof skyscrapers to tsunami-detecting buoys, Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today, we're going to be showing you some of the most unbelievable machines that humanity has ever built. And unlike the ones we usually cover, that dig, haul, or harvest, these are built for something very different. These machines exist for one purpose only, to stop nature's most destructive forces. You'll see the gates that can hold back the ocean, the pumps that redirect floods, the secret devices hidden in skyscrapers that tame earthquakes, and even the bold experiments designed to rebuild melting glaciers. These are the gigantic machines built to stop natural disasters, and once you see them in action, you'll realize just how far human engineering has come. Let's start with the sea, because for thousands of years, it has been the greatest threat to coastal cities. The ocean does not forgive, and when it rises during a storm surge, entire towns can vanish overnight. To protect themselves, the Dutch built something extraordinary, the Meislandkering. From a distance, it looks like a set of quiet steel arms resting by the riverbank, but when you get close, the scale is staggering. Each arm is longer than the Eiffel Tower is tall, and each is connected to a floating gate that weighs thousands of tons. Under normal conditions, the gates rest open, letting ships and water pass freely. But when sensors detect a dangerous rise in sea level, the system awakens. Slowly, with a force that's almost hard to imagine, the arms swing out and the gates close across the new waterway. In a matter of hours, the storm surge is sealed off, the sea is locked out, and millions of people living behind those gates can breathe safely. It is one of the largest moving structures on the planet, and when it shuts, it literally commands the ocean to stop. Japan has faced the same threat for centuries, and their answer has been just as bold. Along its coasts stand giant steel floodgates powered by hydraulics so strong they can raise walls weighing hundreds of tons in just minutes. During calm days, they rest quietly, blending into harbors or river mouths. But when a typhoon arrives, these machines roar into action. Enormous steel doors rise up from hidden chambers, locking into place like shields. 
the machinery inside is built with pistons thicker than tree trunks and gears forged to withstand forces that would tear smaller machines apart. The scale of water they hold back is hard to comprehend, but they have saved countless towns from being swept away by walls of seawater. One of the most impressive systems lies beneath Tokyo itself. Known as g -Cans, it's an underground cathedral of concrete silos and tunnels. When torrential rains threaten to flood the capital, vast pumps switch on, moving water out of the city at rates that rival entire rivers. Inside these tunnels, you'll find columns taller than 10-story buildings and pumps that could empty an Olympic swimming pool in seconds. It's an entire hidden city of machines built solely to protect the one above. Earthquake-resistant skyscrapers. Every year, thousands of earthquakes shake the earth Yet some of the world's tallest skyscrapers barely feel the tremor thanks to cutting-edge engineering like base isolation systems and tuned mass dampers. Base isolation, first developed in Japan and New Zealand in the 1970s, works by placing buildings on giant pads made of rubber, steel and sometimes lead cores that act like shock absorbers. When the ground shakes, these pads flex and slide, absorbing up to 90% of the seismic energy before it reaches the structure. Japan's Tokyo Sky Tree, completed in 2012, uses a central reinforced concrete pillar combined with oil dampers that let the core and outer frame move separately, cancelling out much of the quake's force, a design that kept it stable during the 2011 Great East Japan earthquake. Meanwhile, Taiwan's Taipei 101, finished in 2004, relies on a spectacular 660-ton golden steel pendulum suspended between its 87th and 92nd floors. This massive tuned mass damper swings opposite to earthquake tremors or typhoon winds, counterbalancing the movement and keeping the building steady. Without these innovations, Earthquake-prone megacities like Tokyo, Taipei and San Francisco could never safely rise so high, proving that human ingenuity can stand firm even when the Earth itself shakes. Italy also faced its own battle with the sea. Venice, a city built on water, has always been vulnerable to tides. But in recent decades, rising seas threatened to drown it permanently. Engineers responded with the MOSE project, a system of floating gates anchored to the seabed. Most of the time they lie hidden beneath the water, out of sight. But when a high tide is predicted, compressed air is pumped into them, causing the gates to rise. In minutes, a line of massive yellow barriers emerges from the sea, cutting off the lagoon from the Adriatic. Each gate is a machine in itself, fitted with sensors, hydraulics and steel reinforced to resist endless cycles of saltwater corrosion. The sight of them rising is almost surreal, as if the sea itself is being commanded to halt by human hands. Rivers too are relentless enemies. Floods have shaped human history, wiping out cities and leaving entire regions uninhabitable. Nowhere is this more apparent than in China, where the Yangtze River has brought both life and destruction for centuries. The answer came in the form of the Three Gorges Dam, the largest hydro-engineering project in the world. Stretching more than two kilometers across the river, its wall of concrete holds back a reservoir so massive it shifts the weight balance of the earth itself. But the real machines are the floodgates. Each one is a giant, weighing hundreds of tons, able to open and release torrents more powerful than any waterfall on the planet. When heavy rains strike upstream, Operators unleash these gates, and the roar of the water is like thunder echoing through the mountains. The gates not only prevent catastrophic floods, but also drive turbines that generate enough electricity to power entire megacities. The scale is staggering. Each turbine weighs thousands of tons, and the system as a whole produces more energy than most nations consume. It is both a shield against disaster and one of the greatest power plants on Earth. In the United States, along the Mississippi River, a different kind of machine stands guard. The Bonnet Carré Spillway near New Orleans looks like a wall of concrete and steel stretching into the horizon. But when the river swells dangerously high, 
hundreds of wooden and steel bays are opened, diverting water away from the city and into Lake Pontchartrain. The force required to operate these gates is immense, as each one must withstand the crushing pressure of the Mississippi at flood stage. Yet the system has saved New Orleans from disaster more than once. Elsewhere, high-capacity pumping stations can be found. Their enormous engines capable of moving tens of thousands of liters every second, draining flood water from low-lying neighborhoods faster than it can rise. These machines are often invisible to the public until the moment they're needed, when suddenly they become the only line of defense between a city and annihilation. But water is only one enemy. The ground beneath us is no less dangerous. Earthquakes strike without warning, and the damage they can cause is total. To protect themselves, engineers have hidden machines inside buildings, machines that most people will never see, but that make survival possible. One of the most famous is inside Taipei 101 in Taiwan. Suspended between the upper floors hangs a golden sphere the size of a house. It weighs more than 700 tons and hangs from cables designed to withstand unimaginable forces. When the earth shakes, the building sways, but the sphere swings in the opposite direction, counteracting the motion and stabilizing the tower. Without it, the building could collapse under its own oscillations. Instead, it stands tall, even during powerful tremors. In Japan, where earthquakes are a part of life, skyscrapers and even bridges are fitted with similar dampers, some using pendulums, others using hydraulic pistons, and some even using massive springs that isolate entire buildings from the ground. These machines don't stop earthquakes, but they make it possible for humans to live safely in some of the most unstable places on Earth. Volcanoes, on the other hand, are harder to tame. When magma rises, no machine on Earth can stop it completely. But that hasn't stopped engineers from trying. In Iceland, when eruptions threatened towns, entire fleets of pumps were deployed, spraying seawater onto advancing lava. The results were extraordinary. The water cooled the molten rock, creating barriers that diverted the flow away from homes. Bulldozers and excavators were also used, carving trenches to redirect the lava's path. It was a desperate gamble, but it worked. Those machines gave people time, and in the battle against nature, time can mean survival. Elsewhere, scientists are experimenting with robotic sensors and autonomous drones to monitor volcanoes, sending data in real time so that evacuations and countermeasures can be triggered before it's too late. They are not as dramatic as a giant dam or a steel barrier, but they are machines in their own right, smaller, more precise, and just as vital. Then there's the slowest, but perhaps most dangerous disaster of all, the rising seas caused by melting ice. This isn't a single storm or a single eruption. It's a disaster that creeps forward year after year, threatening to drown entire nations. In places like Jakarta and the Maldives, engineers are racing to construct seawalls, pumping stations, and even floating cities. Some designs are radical, artificial islands built on buoyant foundations, or modular barriers that rise automatically with the tide. In the Arctic, scientists are experimenting with machines that can rebuild ice itself. By pumping seawater onto the surface and letting it freeze in layers, they hope to slow the retreat of glaciers. These prototypes are small for now, but the vision is vast. Fleets of ice-making machines stabilizing the poles, protecting coastlines across the world. Whether such ideas will succeed is uncertain, but they show how far humanity is willing to go to protect itself. Every one of these machines is a marvel of engineering. They combine brute force with precision, using hydraulics, sensors, and automation on scales that few people can comprehend. The steel in their gates must resist corrosion from salt water for decades. The pumps must keep running in the middle of storms when everything else fails. The dampers in skyscrapers must work perfectly every time because there is no margin for error. These machines are not built for convenience or profit. They are built for survival, and when disaster comes, they are all that stands between us and destruction. But they also raise questions. By holding back nature, are we saving ourselves, or are we simply postponing the inevitable? 
Every dam changes ecosystems. Every seawall shifts the balance of the sea. Every intervention has consequences we cannot always predict. Yet we keep building because we have no choice. The world is changing. Storms are stronger, seas are higher, and earthquakes remain as unpredictable as ever. Without these machines, our cities would fall, our coastlines would vanish, and our civilizations would crumble. So the next time you see news footage of a city surviving a hurricane or a skyscraper standing tall after an earthquake, remember that behind those images are machines. Machines hidden beneath streets, buried inside walls, anchored in rivers and seas. They are our silent guardians, built not to create or to destroy, but to protect. They are the gigantic machines built to stop natural disasters, and in the century ahead, they may be the only reason humanity survives on a restless planet. Thanks for watching our video. Which of these machines did you find the most incredible? Let us know down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to Lord Gizmo and hit the notification bell so you never miss our latest releases. Until next time, stay safe and stay amazed by the power of human engineering.